here in i button and description box below you will get complete playlist of laplace transform uh, and <clears throat> here we are going to solve a problem which is from the topic inverse laplace transform basically uh, i would uh, like to show you something that is from video number 19 okay from video number 19 to video number yes that is 30 we are solving various problems on the topic inverse laplace transform all these questions are very 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 important i would i would suggest you i would request you to solve each and every problem okay and that too in this sequence only in this sequence only so that you will get very good uh, command over this topic okay and over this all these questions out of all these questions this question number 27 is most important problem okay other questions are also very important but this is the most important problem okay so let us start with the problem welcome to video number 22 and in this video we are going to solve a very 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 good question that is on the topic inverse laplace transform okay uh, let us see what the problem says evaluate or solve inverse laplace transform of s upon s plus 3 whole square plus 4 okay yes since we have s plus 3 okay whole square plus 4 in the denominator part okay because of this s plus 3 we need to uh, apply shifting property first okay but for applying this shifting property we need to have this numerator part as s plus 3 also okay we need to have um, s plus 3 in the denominator uh, in the numerator part also okay so solving this that is in uh, inverse laplace transform of s upon s plus 3 whole square plus 4 can be written as s plus 3 minus 3 we are simply adding and subtracting with 3 okay with this s which is on the numerator, numerator part okay because of this s plus 3 okay and since we have this s plus 3 we can now use uh, shifting uh, property okay but before that we need to uh, divide this term into two different different uh, parts okay we need to divide this into two different different terms first will be s plus 3 upon s plus 3 whole square plus 4 and the second will be minus 3 upon s plus 3 whole square plus 4 okay yes now dividing this into two different different terms we'll have inverse laplace transform of s plus 3 upon s plus 3 whole square plus 4 okay and the second will be minus 3 upon s plus 3 whole square plus 4 okay and since this minus 3 is a, is a constant value so we are taking minus 3 okay then we will go for inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s plus 3 whole square plus 4 okay yes now we need to see what is the shifting property okay from the properties of inverse laplace transform we have if inverse laplace tra uh, inverse laplace transform of f bar of s equals to f of t then by shifting property we have yes that is uh, inverse laplace transform that is l inverse of f bar of s minus a can be written as e to the power 18 to f of t i repeat this once again inverse laplace transform of f bar of s minus a can be written as e to the power 80 into f of t this is what this is my shifting property okay now applying this yes that is here the value of a is how much minus 3 okay so e to the power minus 30 okay on applying yes we need to write here also using shifting property okay so by using shifting property we have e to the power minus 30 then we are left with la inverse laplace transform of this will become s and this will become s so s upon s is square plus 4 can be written as 2 square fine again by using shifting property in the second term also we have minus 3 okay since here we have s plus 3 whole square so we can write uh, by shifting property we have e to the power minus 30 because the value of a is how much minus 3 okay yes e to the power minus 30 into inverse laplace transform of this will be as it is 1 and s plus 3 whole square will become s square and 4 can be written as 2 square okay you need to write this using shifting property okay this is a very important line okay yes now we are going to use a certain formula that we have already learned in the inverse laplace transform okay e to the power minus 30 is as it is we need to see what is the formula for inverse laplace transform of s upon s square plus 2 square okay or you can say inverse laplace transform of s upon s square plus a square okay let us see the formula number four that is inverse laplace transform of s upon s square plus a square can be written as cos a t okay inverse laplace transform of s upon s square plus a square can be written as cos a t okay the value of a is how much yes 2 so this can be written as e to the power minus 30 into cos 80 that is cos 2t okay now coming to this formula 
that is inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s square plus 2 square okay so look at this formula number 5 that is inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s square plus a square m that is 1 upon a into sin a t okay 1 upon inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s square plus a square equals to 1 upon a into sin a t and the value of a is how much that is 2 okay so minus 3 e to the power minus 3 t is as it is we need to write this as 1 upon a that is 1 upon 2 into sin a t that is sin 2 t okay taking this e to the power minus 3 t common you will left with this is cos 2 t and here we have minus sign with 3 upon 2 okay into sin 2 t and this is my final answer okay yes thank you for watching this video